we've been so terrible over the last few weeks. We really haven't been paying much attention to Maruda trees at all. And I feel as though they were a big part of our lives for a few weeks when they uh, had all the beautiful fruits that were so delicious and tasty. But I suppose we can look at this one because it has a leopard inside of it. How cool is that? And I'm sure that this leopard needs absolutely no introduction. He is a big boy. He's sitting in the tree. Perhaps it was the same leopard that left the tracks behind on one of the boundary roads. So from here, it does indeed look like quarantine. Yeah, and a big yawn for us. That's very kind of you. Thank you, lovely. And he is absolutely beautiful. But when he sits in the tree like this, he really doesn't look as massive as he does when he's on the ground walking next to your car. He's a beautiful boy. But there's something that I want to point out to you. Craig, can you see that cut on next to his left eye? He's got a big gash just on the side of his face. Well, not a big gash. I'm, there, I'm exaggerating. But he definitely has some form. Oh, now he wants to move around. Are you choosing a different shady spot? Oh, the big cat stretch. Oh, that's beautiful. Isn't that absolutely lovely? Here we go. He was. He was just trying to find a spot of shade. Now, I think he's been fighting. I don't know who he's been fighting with. But I did hear this morning that they found Tingana, it sounds like, in Biffle's Hook, somewhere around there. And it wouldn't surprise me, or maybe even on Torture I'm actually not sure exactly where they found him. But it perhaps, and it's inevitable, that Tingana and Quarantine are going to bump heads. They're going to cross each other's paths, especially with Tingana's ever-expanding territory. And as Quarantine gets a bit older too, he's going to start venturing into new areas. And he's not a small leopard, and he's young. He's almost half, he is, I think he's half the age of Tingana. So to be at this size and almost be the same size of him is really, really quite impressive. So it could be a good match. But again, like we've been saying, experience is so important. And Tingana has got years and years and years oh, sorry, of experience. But for now, he's got a little scratch on his eye, which could have even been from a female too. So we can't rule the girls out. They're quite feisty, especially if he's been mating with any of them. You've seen as they jump off of... The backs of the female, after being mounted, they get a swat to the face. He's staring off into the distance. I couldn't tell you if he's had a decent meal. He doesn't look particularly thin. Oh, but he's a lovely leopard. I'm so happy. I'm so, so, so happy we came here this morning because I was really, really itching, and I've said it the whole morning that I want to see either Quarantine or Kuchava. So finally, oh, that is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. He's got the most beautiful golden eyes. He is just to die for. Now, are you going to come down the tree now? If he does, I hope he comes down the way that we can see him. He's just rubbing his head. And even when he's up in the tree like that, they can also scent mark. Oh, my goodness. Here's the poser. Here he goes. Hop. Skip and a jump. Look at this. Very graceful. He's lovely. So maybe there's some hope for Hosanna as he grows up. Hopefully, hopefully, of course, um, Hosanna will end up being as beautiful as this leopard. Now, I know all of you are very excited to see Quarantine. He's always a fantastic chap to photograph and to watch. And I, like I said, I haven't seen him for such a long time. I think the last time I saw him, he was mating with uh, Inkanyeni. Oh, this is so cool. He's just smelling the base of the tree now. You'll see he rub his cheeks up against that. Definitely can smell something. And at a watering hole like three in a row pan, there's definitely an opportunity for many leopards to pass by here and mark on this very prominent marula tree. And that's what the cats will do, is they'll mark on obvious things, obvious trees that are right next to the roads. They don't necessarily go for the ones that are hidden away at the back. They want their scent to stand out. They want their presence to be known. And by doing that, you have to mark in obvious spots. So, sure, I'm sure you can smell Chave, probably smell Shivambalana. Even a lion will come and scent mark up against this, so there's lots of different scents. And he's actually just going to walk right past. What we're going to do is you're going to see him walk right past Andrew's car. Andrew's just in the vehicle next to us. Look how close he gets. He doesn't mind at all. Sorry, Rebecca, can I have that again? I missed, missed the last part. Now we've got to reposition. Uh, 
Uh, let me see if I can find... Here he is. Oh, now I need to turn around. I'm going to try and hug the dam very quickly. Sorry, I'm a bit distracted as we go over this monster bum. Quarantine, which way do you want to go? Because you're obviously the boss here. Oh no, now he's using the luxury facilities. Oh my goodness. Whee! Right, we're going to go across to Tristan.